So I was kind of curious as to how far back upstream the flooding from the Chilcot slide uh, would get to. One number that's been quoted often in the media is that the slide is 30 meters deep. And if you look at uh, Google Earth and you look at the surface of the water near the slide, it notes it as being, if you look down here, it notes it as being 528 to 529 meters. So add 30 meters to that and you're pretty close to 560 meters. So I created a polygon and I gave it an altitude of 560 meters. So when the water gets to the point of coming across the slide, this is about the elevation it's anticipated to be, I guess, if you assume that the slide is 30 meters high. And first of all, everything I'm showing here is very non-scientific, it's just my own curiosity. So if I set this polygon at 30 meters above the water level, um, at the point of the slide, and then we start working our way back, we can kind of see where it would get to if if it spills over the top at 30 meters above slide elevation. Now this is not sloped at all. This is a fixed 560 meter elevation, which is basically what a lake would do. If you get back into this farm back here, it, it looks like most of the farm is still uh, well above flood level. Of course, as you work your way back upstream, the elevation of the river rises because that's kind of how it works. Water flows downhill. So as we get back further and further, the elevation difference becomes less and less. And then when we get back to a position, uh, there's Withrow Creek. And then we get back into here and it's starting to become less and less. And at this point, my polygon and the surface of the river are at similar elevations. Um, Hansville is still uh, where am I going? Hansville is still back here a ways. There it is. There's what we're looking for. So, you know, there's so far I don't think there's anything back that far yet. And then, of course, as we come ahead again, it starts to build up. So if it's 30 meters tall and it starts to spill at 30 meters and there's not much of a backlog behind it and the log jams don't back up and, 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 this is what things could look like when it starts spilling at 30 meters.